Hello, good afternoon. My name is Teppo Hemi. I'm the CEO of uh, Biopass. There are thousands of companies focusing on sensors, devices, and cloud applications in the Internet of Things. We are different. We are one of the very few focusing on low-power wireless communication for, the, for connecting the things. Today, the low-power wireless have a bad sound, having problems like reliability, scalability, difficulties in installation, and so on. And those problems are originated from the limited services coming out from the protocol stack. That is where we come into picture. So we are again different, unique, and addressing that problem. So our hardware independent protocol stack was built from the bottom up. It's the only protocol stack in the, in the market that doesn't have any scale, any, any limit in scale, has the highest reliability and the energy efficiency. It's the only one that has a distributed network management system which allows the devices locally adapt for the best frequency and time domain. That is actually very, very important in a dynamic radio environment to make a reliable service uh, for the customers. Uh, the product is well covered by international patents with tens of claims. The product is ready. It's serving customers to ease them for very simple installations, uh, extensions, and maintenance. So this is helping especially a companies that are working on as a platform, as a service model. Um, our cust we are today in smart metering where our customers have dealt by now already more than 150,000 devices. And in our books, we have soon $1 million as a, as, a, as a revenue. So today, we are looking for funding not only to expand within the smart meters where we have the breakthrough already, but look for new segments like healthcare, clean tech, industrial automation, and go global. So these numbers that I listed were only domestic and one, custom, one segment. Now we go for more segments and globally, and we are, one, we, we are then building a de facto low-power wireless network, network offering for the billions of connected devices market. Thank you. So you mentioned there's the limited services in the protocol stack. So uh, uh, did I get it right? So you are kind of building the proprietary solution, or is it with open standards? Just thinking the scalability of your service. The the current standards are not enabling those type of features what we are implementing. So yes, it's a proprietary. It's a, it's a hard software-based solution on top of the physical layer. But it also means that we are hardware independent. So we can use current Bluetooth chips for 2.4 gigahertz short range applications as well as sub gigahertz radios for kilometer range of applications. Well, the electricity remote reading is, is one example where we are in. So actually it gives a lot of benefits that the current standards will not give. 